Dear students, welcome to the problem solving session on half range Fourier series. Whenever I speak half range Fourier series, it should be splitted into half range Fourier sine series and half range Fourier cosine series. Whenever you mention the limit minus L to L or 0 to 2 L or minus pi to pi, in all our previous problem in Fourier series, our limit is either 0 to 2 L or 0 to 2 pi minus pi to pi or minus L to L. This is known as full range Fourier series. Now we are going to deal the problems on half range Fourier series. Obviously my limits are going to be 0, pi or 0, L. We are taking only the positive side. So at the limit 0, pi, at the limit 0, pi, the half range Fourier cosine series formulas are mentioned below. Whenever I mention half range Fourier cosine series, it should have only A naught and An. If I say it as half range Fourier sine series, it contains only Bn. The remaining two terms will become zero. Now we have to write the A naught formula. Since it is half range, right? Two times one by pi. These things we are be practicing from our full range from the beginning. Similarly, An is going to be two by pi integral zero to pi f of x cos n x dx. Whenever it is for the interval 0, L, then f of x can be written as a naught by 2 summation n equal to 1 to infinity a n cos n pi x by L, where a naught is going to be 2 by L integral 0 to L f of x dx and a n is going to be 2 by L integral 0 to L f of x cos n pi x by L dx. We can see the typed version. Similarly, when we speak about half range Fourier sine series, only Bn term exists. A naught and An will become zero. So we write the formula as 2 by pi integral 0 to pi f of x sin n x dx. In the similar way, I can write the formula for 0, L. Now let us go into the other formulas. We know the parcels identity formula for the general interval A, B. We have two different intervals, 0, pi and 0, L. Therefore, my LHS will change accordingly. So for 0, pi, we will be getting 1 by pi integral 0 to pi f of x whole square dx. For 0, L, we will be getting 1 by L integral 0 to L f of x whole square dx. Right hand side remains the same. If it is half range Fourier cosine series, A naught square and A n square exist. If it is a sine series, only B n square exists. RMS value as usual, we can write like square root of 1 by pi integral 0 to pi f of x whole square dx if the limit is 0, pi. If the limit is 0, L, then we will be getting 1 by L integral 0 to L f of x whole square dx. Now let us go into the problem. Now the second and third problems are very easy. You can do by yourself because a similar problem we did for L minus x whole square in the limit 0, 2L. So now you can try this for 0, pi. I am going to concentrate on the first problem f of x equal to x into pi minus x. And here the deduction is not simply square, it is power 4. Maybe we have a chance of using Parcel's identity. Let us see into the problem. So step 1, let us write the function f of x defined in the interval 0, pi. Step 2, write the formula f of x equal to a naught by 2 plus summation n equal to 1 to infinity a n cos n x. Write the formula for a naught and a n. Then step 3, we are going to find a naught and a n directly. My a naught is going to be x into pi minus x. It is very tough to integrate like this. So I am multiplying inside. When I multiply and integrate, I will be getting pi x square by 2 minus x cube by 3. When I apply the limits, I will be getting pi cube by 2 minus pi cube by 3. Simplifying this, we will be getting a naught is equal to pi square by 3. But we need a naught by 2, that is pi square divided by 6, which is helpful for me to substitute in the formula at the final stage. Next, we have to find a n. a n is going to be x into pi minus x cos n x. Similarly, I am multiplying this and I am rewriting like this. Now, we can see the highest power of 
x is 2. So, using Bernoulli's formula, I am going to get the answer which has three terms. Integral u dv is equal to u v minus u dash v1 plus u double dash v2 etc. Now, u is 5x minus x square, u dash is 5 minus 2x and u double dash is minus 2 triple dash becomes 0. dv is equal to cos nx dx. Integrating this, we will be getting sin nx by n. Integration of v will give you v1 minus cos nx by n square and v2 is minus sin nx by n cube. Now, mapping this uv, u dash v1, u double dash v2 and all the remaining terms get 0, we will be writing like this. As I said, since the limit is 0 to pi, immediately I can put sin terms as 0. Only cos term exists. So, an is going to be 2 by pi. Now, minus into minus plus, I will be writing pi minus 2x cos nx by n square. The limit is 0 to pi. Substituting the upper and lower limit, we will be getting pi minus 2 pi and pi minus 0. Simplifying this, we will be getting 2 by pi minus pi cos n pi minus pi into 1. I am taking this minus pi outside and we know that cos n pi is minus 1 whole power n. So, we will get a n. Now, my deduction is in terms of power 4, but my answer is in terms of square. So, the only choice we have to use Parcel's identity. Now, my a n is minus 2 by n square, 1 plus minus 1 whole power n. But my deduction is in terms of 1 by 1 power 4, 1 by 2 power 4, etc. From this, I cannot find my deduction. The only choice is I am going to use Parcel's identity. So, to use Parcel's identity, I am going to square these things. It is very tough to do what is 1 plus 1, 1 plus minus 1 whole power n. So, I am going to substitute the value. I will take 1 plus minus 1 whole power n. If I put n equal to 1, I will be getting 1 minus 1, 0. If I put n equal to 2, I will be getting 1 plus 1, 2. That means for even value, it is going to be 2. For odd values, it is going to be 0. So, I am going to rewrite this as minus 2 by n square into 2. So, I can directly write this as minus 4 by n square when n is even, 0 when n is odd. It will be helpful for me to find my deduction which has power 4. Now, substitute the value of a naught by 2 that is pi square by 6 and a n will be getting like this. So, pi square divided by 6 minus, I will take this 4 outside. Summation now, it will work only for even numbers. So, I will write it as even to infinity 1 by n square cos n x. Next part is detection. When we go for detection, I see all the powers are 4. Now, we have to use Parcel's identity for 0, 5. The general Parcel's identity is this. But our concern is 0, pi. When you put a, b equal to 0, pi, we will be getting this formulae. Now, we have to calculate 1 by 1. First, let me do LHS. We know a naught by 2 is pi square by 6. Then a naught square by 4 will be pi power 4 by 36. Then, summation n equal to 1 to infinity. a n square, I can write it as summation n equal to even because I am using even to infinity minus 4 by n square whole square. So, it is going to be 16 by n power 4. I am writing the LHS like this. Now, this 1 by 2, here I will be getting 16. This and this will get cancelled. I will be getting 8. I am taking this 8 outside. So, now my LHS is ready. Next, we have to go for RHS. Next, we have to do the RHS. We know our limit is 0, pi. Re rewriting this and f of x is going to be pi x minus x square. Substituting this, we will be getting pi x minus x square whole square dx. Simplifying this, we will be getting pi square x square minus 2 pi x cube plus x power 4. Integrating this, we will be getting pi square x cube by 3 minus 2 pi x power 4 by 4 plus x power 5 by 5. And we have to apply the limits now. My lower limit is going to be 0. Only upper limit survives. We will be getting 1 by pi, pi power 5 by 3, 2, 2 get cancelled minus pi power 5 by 2 plus pi power 5 by 
apply now equating lhs and rhs will finish the deduction this is my lhs and this is my rhs simplifying this i'll be getting pi power 4 1 by 3 minus 1 by 2 plus 1 by 5 so now we have to take the lcm and since calculators are allowed, students, you can use the calculator to make the LCM in a smoother way. Sometimes in exam tension, you may do some errors in doing LCM. So take your calculator. I am using version 1. Nowadays, people have version 2 in 991MS. Anything you can use. Now, feed the data 1 divided by 3 minus 1 divided by 2 plus 1 divided by 5 in calculator. Then press equal to. You can see now the calculator will display the decimal value. I did not need the, I don't need the decimal value. I need the fractions. So you can see a button A, B by C. This is improper fraction. I don't need it. I want a proper fraction. So press shift button. Then press this button A, B by C. Because in yellow color we can see D by C. That will give you a solution in terms of a proper fraction. Once you press, the calculator will show like this. The meaning of this is 1 divided by 30 or 1 by 30. So now my LCM is 1 by 30. I can rewrite this. Now I will bring this pi power 4 by 36 to the right hand side and I will bring this 8 also to the denominator. Again we can use the calculator to make the problem smooth. Now enter 1 divided by 30 minus 1 divided by 36. Press equal to button. It shows some 5.555 etc into 10 to the power of minus 3. Now again press shift plus a b by c button you will be getting the fraction immediately it shows 1 by 180 that is going to be 1 divided by 180 substitute here now i get the deduction but the problem in my deduction is my deduction has all the natural numbers but my lhs having n equal to even if you substitute the value of even number, I will be getting the identity only for even numbers. I need the identity for natural number. And we know that the general formula for even number is 2m. If it is odd number, we say it as 2m minus 1 or 2m plus 1. You may think now, people will always say 2n for even number and for odd number people will say 2n minus 1 or 2n plus 1 since n is already used in the problem so i say like it as m so i am going to replace this n equal to even by n equal to 2m so when i replace in the lhs it will become m equal to 1 to infinity 1 by 2m power 4 do you understand this is exactly equal to n equal to even to infinity 1 by n power 4 both are equivalent now simplifying this we'll be getting the answer now i will take this 2 power 4 outside so yeah, summation m equal to 1 to infinity 1 by m power 4 is equal to pi power 4 by 8 into 1 by 180 now simplifying this we'll be getting m equal to 1 to infinity 1 by m power 4 is pi power 4 by 90 Hence, we deduce the detection using the Parswell's identity. Thank you. In the next video, we'll see some problems on off-range Fourier sine and cosine series, maybe in the interval 0, L. Thank you. Subscribe our channel. Share to your friends. Any doubts, post in the comment box. We are there to help you. See you. Bye-bye.